What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more of the Cat Lady. In the last episode, we got a Valerian rig, and we finished exploring the apartments, the flats, rather, and at this point, I have no idea what to do, so I'm gonna figure out what the heck to do, and I will see you guys momentarily. Do you think you can unlock this <gasps> mailbox? Sure, but oh. not that woman over there oh. looking at us over her shoulder. She's always been a nosy old cow. Well, that was something new that I did not realize before. Can we go outside yet? No. Alright. Uh, okay. Come on, guys. The party moved over here. I guess we're trying to lure the dog out. Okay. Oh, they disappeared like magics. Where did they go? Where are they? Did they already sneak by me somehow? Say! What? Uh-oh. Teleporting, teleporting, well, teleporting. Kit cats. This dog is <gasps> oh, making quite a racket. Oh, I knew it Someone had something to do with this. Someone should to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort a dog out. Okay, there we go. We have settled this problem. Great. Okay, let's go to the ground floor. Okay, I knew it had something to do with, like, her dog. But I'm like, what can we possibly do? I don't think, like, I did think of putting on the radio. But I thought we tried putting the radio on the radio. I don't think it worked. Oh, whatever. Let's talk to you and complain about your stupid dog. With your freak. Look at that cleavage. Just get out of here, man. Your dog is making table rackets. She's your dog kill the is cats. making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. And go deal with I him, bro. Check on him. Yeah, you better. Okay, so. It's, oh. Ooh, I wonder if you got that broom for something. I got a feeling either she or the dog is gonna die or something. Oh no! Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, that's a thing. Come back, my little prince. You. Bye, kitty. <laughs> Bye, pup. Oh, now we're going to her room as well. Are you sure the cat'll be all right? Please. Yeah. These cats can easily outrun some old mutt. Cats do run faster than dogs, I believe. All right, I don't know where the heck Mitzi went, but. Do you think went, you can unlock this mailbox? I think I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. Did, did then do you... it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. Mitzi? Oh, there she is. It's like, what? <laughs> Alright. Now, let's not get caught, please. A little room for the master locksmith. Oh, yeah, we can't watch her. Really? I, don't, I, don't, I never really understood Could why. You step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? Why? They just don't want to animate this? I mean, they haven't really seemed too concerned with animating before. Maybe we should just break this. She's really... She doesn't know what she's doing. She just freaking smashes a locks or something. There we go. Got a broom. Yay. For another puzzle, I'm sure I will not be able to do. I'll do this when Mitzi's finished out without mailbox. Okay. Are you done? That crazy old coat. Hello, Mitzi? Hello? Did, did it. What the heck? Was that not far enough away? Did I not give you enough time? Why are you still standing there? You said next to the stairs, but you think I was close enough. There we go. Master criminal. If anything. She's probably gonna stab me in the back. Alright. With my broom handy, we will conquer this world. Hello. Why is she being Done. so Here's weird? All the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. Let's not. It was actually. mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Why? You should have just left those there. Be less suspicious, right? Right? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to push this cabinet out of the way. I remember there was a door behind. Oh, it. the perfect criminal, perfect it's too cave. Heavy. I don't think that's gonna work. Perfect bat cave for Are a you criminal, Adam me? of or I'll I show Adam. you how it's done. Stand back. <laughs> Open sesame. She's not gonna be able to do it. Is she? She's gonna throw her back out, and it's gonna be sad times. Whoa! Oh, there we go. There we go. We did it. With that rig freaking muscles. Thanks for the help, you asshole. There. The door everyone's forgotten about. Except me. 
Wow. You're stronger than you look, Mrs. A. I am a super, super yeah, powerful person. perhaps I am. She works out at the gym every day. Oh, just going to get buff, you know, bro. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it's dark down here. I can't see nothing. Oh, I can see all the things. Okay. Water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. There's nothing to do that now, though. Okay, keep that in mind. Take the extension cord. Hmm. There was a plug in that, uh, the, the flat number one, I believe. Maybe that'll be useful later. It has been used many years off lots of heating these days. Oh, it's a coal chute! Well, this place really is old. Hey, now we have a crank. Now I see why it's called a crank in this game. Yay! What are we gonna do this, use this for? Oh god, what's this? Hopefully I just call. Okay. Hi. I'm sure this coal is very expensive. It's filled with coal. Dirty stuff. Can we sweep it out? Um, I'm scratching my nose. Okay. Uh, let's read these well, letters. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Right. Um, I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try, but I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. Yeah. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Makes sense. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Alright, let's read the other one. That's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears to be Joe Shrink. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well, looks like Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse, who knows? I should, I should be lost when we make judges. Judge, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well. Tan of red paint. It's red, the color of blood. Well, that's one way of describing it. The lid is stuck. Dread up paint is holding it firmly like glue. Um, I'll need some to pry it open. Okay, let me go with the I'm sorry, I'm tired. <laughs> okay, well, nothing in here. Quiet Haven Hotel? Never heard of it. What was the sign doing down here, anyways? Well, I guess that means it's probably called that to begin with. Hmm. Hmm. I what, think I've it? got an oh. idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Well, I am Susan, and I have no Brian. idea what her idea is. The guy from flat six, right? Oui. Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. What is the heck is she planning? You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? Nope. The Never. cat widow? No? I can't okay. say I have. Thank God, now she can explain it. Well, you're not from around here. But Me I'm neither. sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? Please explain. It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Uh, is it just one body part wow, of a cat still? Pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Is that what it is? Do you really think we can pull it oh, off? apparently not. Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Oh, where are we going to get that thing are from? Are sure about that? I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Hmm. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. I will say a tin of red paint. Red okay. paint? There's a tin here. We could use that. How very lucky and fortunate. Mutilated black dress. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. That? Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after what all. Hell? What? I'll need some scissors for that. So scissors then, and a mask. We need some kind of mask. Okay. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Okay, minus the mask. If she just wanted like the black tatty dress and all that I'd just be like well that's would not remind me of a legend I would just be like oh there's a creepy murder person in here strange this wall looks fresh is there anything we could use on it don't look does not look like we sweep it off and find some fingerprints alright 
Um, I didn't take the dress. Can we take the dress? Is it a point? Well, apparently we can't take the dress. Salmon. Is this gonna do okay. the same thing? So what? what? Okay. Red paint, which is right here. We need to find something Red to pry it up with. Okay. Great. Okay. I the regret. I regret. I regret typing this again or entering all over this. Okay. Right. Um. I guess now we're gonna go upstairs and put the extension cord on floor one and flat one. Actually, maybe we could do something with. I don't know what that's going to accomplish, but who really knows? Go the first floor, shall we? We could also go into um, the dog lady's apartment too. I just realized. Maybe we'll do that now too. Let's do it. Look, oh. she left the door open. What a stupid poop head! Right. Do you want go. to check her flat? <laughs> I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. Oh. I'll be as quick as I can. Are we not gonna, you know? Are we not gonna be able to control those parts? Are we gonna play as Mitzi? No. Well, that's weird. I thought for sure we would at least. Well, it's, it's obviously not her. not her. I didn't find anything. No computers. No laptops. No telephone line. What okay. a very lonely old lady. I'm not really surprised. Are you? Yes. I'm shocked. At least we can now cross her off the list. Hmm. So it's either Brian, the guy in flat seven, or flat eight. Or, oh yeah, Joe and Davis as well. Who the heck? Let's Joe go. Joe Davis. Um, okay. Let's go back in here. And open the door, get on the floor. Everybody, walk the dinosaur! Alright. Um. Don't really know exactly what we're accomplished by putting an extension cord here. We do have those letters we could go and, like, you know, bring up. But let's see if we could uncover anything else by putting this extension cord into the sock. Nope. I, just nope. Not even just, not even just like, you know, an, an explanation. Just like, nope. <laughs> okay, well that was pointless. Um, Pauline. Okay, let, let's take a look. Let's take a look at this book. Pauline, where the heck is Pauline again? Who's Pauline? Is that the top floor? Oh, for the baby, right? Of course. How very mysterious and obvious. Alright, let's go this way. Interesting how they had, like, um, commentary over the Pauline's letter, but they didn't for Joe's letter. The top floor, right. Okay. Let's go up here. I'm sure Pauline's gonna be very nice to us. And... Knock? Hello? Wait, is there no one home? Coming. Oh. What right. Happened? Step back. I'll handle this. What would happen if we knocked before? Did we knock before? Did you just say she doesn't want to knock? I don't remember. Oh. Hello? That doesn't Hi. look like a baby. It looks like a fresh ball. I heard ball. you're looking for a babysitter. <coughs> Is that correct? Nope. Not anymore. Well, yes, that's correct. I'm look a babysitter. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. Don't use I'm your real name. I'm a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I'm you don't say. Okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Hi! Say hi. Hi, Pauline. Um... Well, this is going you? well. I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? It's because I've died <laughs> multiple no. times. No big deal. Of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. Okay, excuse me, a little bit of an interruption there. Um, okay. Uh, so, oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. Oh, Mrs. Ashworth's lodger. Oh, we're playing as Mitzi right now, right? Yeah, we are. Okay. Uh, Mrs. A works for the agency. Oh, I'm just, uh, I don't know. Oh. Let's go with this one, I guess. Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and uh -huh. ask like this. So she offered to come along. She yeah. is my favorite auntie. Lying through the teeth. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge, punch, no punch. No problem, sweetie. Stab, stab. 
So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child. I like the way she's next rocking semester, back and forth. And I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly a million six months. years old. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? I love muffins. Yes. Well, you <laughs> sure sound enthusiastic. Ah, oh, that's me. Would you like to come in? Heck yes. Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please Aww. come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Okay, let's go. Yes. Oh, very sad. Well, you're... for Susan. Okay, I'll come. You know, just at the time of recording this, I just went upstairs and my dad you just asked me if I want a dog. We need to work together on this. And... I'll do the talking, I promise. Yes. <laughs> First off, yes. Fine. And I, I'm a little bit distraught because I did it. not see that one coming. I miss having dogs. It's too late for that, Mrs. A. But yeah, that's a random little tidbit, but I figured I would tell you guys because, you know, why not? Because this is meant to kind of like me talk about whatever on my channel. What okay, nice here we are. Flat. This is actually very nice. I love the nice. wallpaper. Very retro. Compared to the um, rest of the apartments, thanks. very nice. I decorated myself just before Alyssa was born. Alyssa! That's an adorable Please name. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. Uh, adorable. Are we gonna snoop? I'll need you to drag her away. How like, the hell her? am I supposed to do that? Eh. Yeah. I don't know. How am know? I supposed to do that? I'm sure you can think of something. No, don't Why do this to me. Why don't you think of something? I told you, I don't do babies. I Gross. feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? Well, no. they cry, they but poop, and they sleep. But I'm trying to it, and so far she's buying it. I like how loud they're talking. <laughs> Look, I need you to stay <laughs> cool and come this. up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Me neither, actually. Just play it by ear, yeah? Yeah, play it by ear. Okay, let's use a broom. Uh, let's use an extension cord. Uh, let's use this white dress. Suppose... What? I better get it back to the swing. What? Oh, I guess we have to... When we go to put everything on it, I guess that's when we're going to need to um, sort it. Well, what the heck are we supposed to do? I don't know. The letter's gone, like maybe it had something to do with that, but I don't know. I guess there's walking in here. They're mostly photos of the baby. There's a couple of Pauline and her ex, his face missing on each one of them. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why doesn't she just take these pictures down? Yeah, aw, she probably misses him. Very sad. This apartment's very nice considering the rest. Like, they probably did a lot to make this place. Although she looks, just, her rocking back and forth I is very weird. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yes. Last year I drowned two of them, and then the other two years, yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Yes, yes I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Yes. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's yeah. why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career like is always so important to me as well. Her accent in particular sounds really nice. They won't nice. wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. So is that Scottish? It sounds like Scottish or Irish or something. I can't, I've never been able to really tell the difference between Scottish and Irish. Uh, where do you work? There isn't just enough support for working parents. Where is Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me where asking? Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. I like him competition. It's fun. Uh, there just isn't enough support for working parents. Yeah. Tell me about it. There's daycares though. If I don't Come get on. back to work until next time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Ooh. So that I sucks. haven't really got a choice. Nope. Well, they're supposed to get off it's a year when you're having a baby. And me will face the life in poverty. You know, it's gonna be different in other countries. I don't want like Canada. I think you get a year off. Uh, I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay. I don't want to ask about her that. ex because about, that sounds like terrible news like bears. To for a minute? Oh god. This we is should fail. probably see if she likes you first. I Yes, definitely. Oh, she's totally going to cry. She's but totally going to cry. But what? I ought to wash my hands first. 
your hands? My hands. <laughs> I must have touched a million things on my way here. Ooh, as smart. much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Aww, really? I feel bad for her. What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just boobies. Ordinary things. You know, and boobs that. and also some other boobs and some breasticles. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I stroked a very filthy looking dog, volunteered at a hospital earlier today, hugged a homeless man outside this house. <laughs> I must have forgot to wash my hands using the bathroom. Just had a bad cold, still sneezing a lot. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Had a bad cold. Still sneezing a lot. The Ooh. sickness is probably like the worst. If that's the case then yeah, I, should probably I wash would my hands. very much prefer that you wash your hands. Yeah. yeah. I'll show or you wash to your bathroom. hands. Knock knock. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. Uh oh. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. It's Is that okay? Okay. The bathroom's this way. Follow it's me. A wink wink. Mitzi, wink wink. Do it now. Turn, Mrs. A. Do it now. Seriously. Yeah, do, do it now. Something. What am I supposed to do? Anything. Uh, oh, I like sure the apartment. Those dirty Look hands. at that really? nice TV. Wow. I need a bit of time. What the heck? It's too dark. Uh, dark early. There's something about the early. Okay, TV. That's a big TV. Oh, that guy's going to be waiting for a little while. <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> Let's walk to the bathroom. Hi, what's going on here? Uh, they're not in the bathroom yet. Sounds like Missy's telling her fake stories about her childhood. Maybe I could quickly check that room later if she starts washing her hands. One day when she starts washing her hands. Okay. And we don't have anything that would really be useful for anything. There's a bookcase. Nothing useful here. Just books, books, and a few toys. Alright. Look inside. Her kitchen looks sparkling clean. What a very nice apartment for this place. Hmm. No. Alright. Hi. Oh, God. Ugh. Hello. I mean, hi. <laughs> Hello. What's up, dog? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. Oh, I no. I a tickle. May I come in, please? No tickling. Nope. No. Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's <laughs> Agency, of course. Aww, we oh, bring fun some... and professionalism into child minding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It... Was confirmed by post. Her voice is. Didn't you get a letter? Nope. No Hang letter. on, I said. This is a freaking hulking woman. I'm sorry, the position has already been taken. Wrong address. Beat it four eyes. I'm yeah. sorry. The position has already been Minus taken. Minus the beat it four eyes. I would have said right. that one probably. Just Are you her. sure? Are yes. you sure? I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. What? There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, <laughs> there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Bye. Okay, then. That was interesting. That was an interesting woman. Very interesting black and white woman, might I add. Okay, I wonder if we can go in that room now. I hear water running. I thought I heard water, water, water running. Oh, I need a baby. Oh, no. That's not a good... Oh, my God. Is she peeing? Hey, take the scissors. We need that for the dress. Super woman leaving baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. <laughs> sure, don't make fun of her. Come on, Susan. We're going to stab the baby. We're going to stab that baby. All right. Look at photos. There's a lot of photos of playing in her ex. She has been cut out in every single one of them. Can we take them? Oh, no. Just look at it. Right. Door, laptop, use. I don't know enough book computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. Pauline's laptop. What the heck do we do? Hear water running. I must hurry. That could be out any second now. Well, crap. I don't know what to do. Cut. Can't cut anything here. Can we cut the photos? I don't know. I messed up with my timer when I had to like leave for a second, so I'm gonna actually cut the episode off here. Hope you guys enjoy this episode of the Cat Lady. If you enjoyed, please feel the like, subscribe if you're already. My name's Chris, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!